Hi there, welcome back to Baldur's Gate, I'm Baron and that actually is the 100th video of the Let's Play. Wow, yeah, Baldur's Gate is a very long game, uh, but I think we, uh, we probably have more than half of the Let's Play under our belt now. It's probably not 200 videos, but yeah, I know it's been a while uh, yeah, since I recorded the last got video. A word or two you need to hear. But I'm awfully busy right now. But I found time to make a video or two. We shall see. So this is a guy named Nicholas. Here, stop a moment. I've got a word or two you need to hear. Okay. Hey, you're a fine group of mercenaries, are you? Leastwise, that's the word on the street. That you do the odd job here and there. Uh, I have a boss who would like to have a word with you if you can spare the time. He don't ask for free though, and there'll be 50 gold just to hear him out. Okay, 50 gold just to listen, a fair deal, lead on then. A wise choice of action, now just follow me and I'll show you the way to the guild. If you ask the password, it's Farford. Um, I think that's the name of a character from the from a library story. Farford and the Grey Mauser, I guess that's a barbarian. It's like um, low fantasy. It's supposed to be very good, but I didn't read it yet. Okay, when you're in the guild, just look for the, uh, the man named Elator's Ravenscarth. What the fuck? Thuibult. Th Elator's Ravenscarth Thuibult. Oh, we shall see. Okay, our journal updated. A youngster named Nicholas gave me 50 gold to meet with his master. I'm to follow him to a nondescript building and use Farford as a password. Okay, so we follow you. Into here. Okay. Hi, friend. Hi. You there. What are you doing in this place? Well, I was kinda invited. You better get out of here, unless of course you know the password. I know the password. It's Farfoot. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> I have no idea. That's right, that's right, fella. You can go in now. But I... Well, you know, it's not like you could all stop right, me if you right. wanted to. Oh, what do we find here? Nothing. That's not really much, uh, though. You're a I've done had enough of this. There's a chest. Money. I always take money. I don't take that. I don't need throwing knives. What would you have okay, me do? Okay, get in well. there. Oh, we're being stupid again. That did not change. Come on. Thanks. All right, all right. It's locked. Your wish, if you insist. Come what on. you want? This way. Yep. I've done had enough okay. of this. Okay. Ah, it's just leather armor. Nobody needs that. I can't get in there. Hurry up, if you insist. Who are you? A rogue. Off this way. Uh. Dang it! Apparently there was a trap. I didn't see it. I didn't look for it. Doesn't matter though. Okay. Um, who do we have here? Do you have a name? Oh, you're just rogues. You have a name? No, you're just a rogue too. And you? Just a rogue. What would you have me do? I think I that. Right. Normally I don't give uh, the hairs on a sweet red tattoo about local concerns, but now I cannot even buy a new set of picks because of the iron shortage. Okay, so You're that's a topic done had enough of this. Wait, there's a chest. That's awesome. Safe and... Ah, oh, dang it! There's a trap in there. That's why I saved. Look for it. I'm gone. See? Well, in Baldur's Gate 2, we will get XP for... Uh, who unlocks and traps an empty chest? 
In Baldur's Gate 2 we will get XP for disabling traps and picking locks. This will be awesome. And there's another exit here. We don't have to go there, thank you. I'm just, you know, running around. What the fuck are you stupid? Taking a look at things, who are you? Just a rogue. Let me guess, that's probably locked and trapped too. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. It's empty. So those are all rogues. What so would you I have me form right, up here. All right. So eyes at daggers drawn with him, and he drops the swag and runs. What you talk to me? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. This way. Oh, see, this one is trapped. Not anymore. Oh, this is nice. Are not those of warrior form. Yeah, yeah. Don't get your panties all in a bunch. So I guess you wanted to say something to us, is that correct? Who are you? Gnarlin Dark Walk. So eyes at daggers drawn with him, and he drops the swag and runs. You know, I know of you. New sneaks man you be, though I cannot see no need. Editors need but look at home uh, for to find a dab at thievery mayhaps we be testing your talent for your rank riders bungled score you up to the task i'll pass any task you set and then some i'll not discredit me with your you'll not discredit me with your games well uh, spy your talent soon enough you but need to keep an eye this first night i and red Dead recommend the taking. The mark be a noble house aside the splurging sturgeon. Go there to split gold to split thrice amongst followed soon by a new mark if you please. Up to the deed. Okay. A better way to drop the night I'll no think in this life, me fellows. Where will we link a force the deed? Um, there's the larcenous fire burning. We meet at dusk astride the search and bring only yourselves in darks. Your crop will not but get the watch nervous. Okay, so we have a mission. That guy has a very thick slang. Um, okay, a thief from my party is to meet Nolan Dogwalk by the splurging sturgeon inn. The rest of the party must wait out of sight or Nolan will call the deal off. After we meet, we will go to the De Melon Blade household. He and his partner Redditch are going to go inside and while I stand outside and watch. If anything goes wrong, I am to call the alarm and run. No one is to be hurt, especially not city guards. If all goes well, uh, we will meet back at the Thieves Guild and plan another capo. So this looks like a job for our guild Imuin. Okay. What you want? Since she is the only thief in the gone. party. Who are you? Huzam. Who the hell is Huzam? Hurry up! Well. Greetings, hello rogues. <laughs> oh, he sounds drunk. Uh, me name's Huzam. I've heard quite a bit about your exploits. Yeah. You've really caused the Iron Throne some trouble, haven't you? I'd like to talk with a bunch of yous. What says you? Okay, what do you have to say? Here's the mercs who've been tangling with the, the Iron Throne, aren't you? Well, well I'm Husam, and I've kept, I've kept informed on most of your doings. Listen well to what I got to tell you. 
Uh, you know what? I hate Star and Throne. Yeah, who doesn't? Uh, they took my store, my money, and my wife. Okay, is that like the list of your priorities? Um, they took my whole life. They did. Excuse me. Now all I've got is this damn horse piss. To think I used to work for those manure piles. Get on with it. What do you want to talk with, talk to us about? Well, I wanted to talk to you about Iron Throne. Ask me anything about yeah. those manureters, and I'll tell you. I works for them. Remember? Okay. Okay, who's them? Who are the leaders of the Iron Throne? The leaders of the Iron Throne, huh? There's Raelta Kostashk. What? Kostashk? Is that an E or a C? It's probably C. Uh, he's the big guy, uh, sent uh, by the even bigger guy down in Zambia. This whole operation is his baby. He has two other guys, Brunos and Taldon. Brunos is a big, dumb, drunk half orc. Damn half breed could never hold his liquor. Tharange is a pansy. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. That's Saravok. He's the son of Raelta. He's a mean cuss. Okay. Uh, is that enough for you guys, or do you want to know more? What are the Iron Throne plans? The Throne's plans, they want to make money, always more money. But I know this, they're... Leaders? Oh, sorry. Oh. It's not that late, actually. Okay. The big three ones, uh, they're going to candle keep. Yes, they are. Oh. Something big, something huge going to happen there. Okay, I'm tired now. I need to go home and sleep. If you ever need me, you can find me in the Afrosong Tavern. Goodbye. Bull. Okay, so we have some information that's nice, I guess. Move on. There's another guy in here. Several guys, actually. Rezar and Elatos. I guess Elatos is the guy that, you know, paid 50 bucks just to talk to me. I mean, 50 bucks, if it's like change for me. Who are you? Reza. Apologies, but you must die. Excuse me? I must die? <laughs> okay, you well, give me your best shot then. Don't bother me. Do you know who I am? I'm an envoy of the mighty nation of Halrua. And if you value your miserable life, you'll step away immediately. Okay. <sighs> Envoy of the mighty nation of uh, what's his face? Um, you know, I have three uh, wands of fire and only one wand of thrust, so let's use wands of fire. Oh, what's, what do we get here? Nothing. Okay, let's talk Welcome, to you. Welcome, my little friends. Please relax and keep your weapons at your sides. No need for hostility. You forget to say that. Okay. I simply must apologize for the manner of my thieves, I suppose a thieves guild must keep a measure of malice about it, but it does tend to put a cloud over introductions. I am Elator Suibult, uh, though I thank you not to mention that too often. You are Hayward Chablomi, of course. Of course. Uh, be not surprised, there are very few people in Baldur's... Baldur's Gate? I think it's called Baldur's Gate, with an U instead of an E. I cannot name. Uh, you have been here for only a few days and have already made quite a stir. Um, this is quite an honor having one such as yourself interested in my travels. Oh please, <laughs> if you are incradiating remarks for another time, they are, far they are far too good to be wasted on me. In truth, you have never heard of me, and I care not a uh, whit where you go from here. While in this city, however, you become my concern. In fact, I should like to take advantage of your talents for a small job, something best accomplished by someone unknown in this city. I am quite sure that the membership of a thieves' guild would include several people capable of whatever you ask. Danger of being recognized is a minor concern if one is able not to be seen at all. Why would you need me? Shrewd, very shrewd. I do indeed have many fine individuals of exceptional skill, but a large number of them are exceptional of them 
are vacationing <laughs> at the garrison this season. Okay, the guard have been exceptionally vigilant. Uh, what with the banditry on the roads, and to their credit, they have captured several of my best people. Uh, if they captured your best people, the rest will surely follow soon. I am sure that in the history of guilds, we are the first to experience a shortage of thieves. Okay, what exactly is it you want to uh, have me do? And what would be my reward for this service? How well can you afford to pay? Dang it, that's a lot of text. Yeah, okay. It's quite a bit of intrigue, actually. A local wizard by the name of Shandola makes his home in a moored Halruan skyship. It would appear that he has the knowledge to reproduce, uh, reproduce these flying marvels and is currently organizing the sale of the recipe to uh, Grand Duchess Leah Janeth. He has drawn up a set of rituals and has, re has procured an artifact fragment and an ancient statue vile to the spell that keeps the ship aloft. I thought like helium would keep the ship aloft. Um, these he has divided among his daughters until the deal is to proceed. I have been contacted by a representative of the Hal Ruins and they have not no wish to see scores of flying ships manufactured in every port. You are to infiltrate the place of exchange, steal the ingredients and return with them here. Simple enough, you will be well paid, enough gold to give you a backache and if I'm well pleased may have some magical weapon or two. Perhaps a little more, perhaps a little less, it entirely depends upon your performance. It shall be dazzling, my friend. Um. Uh, seems a fair enough, uh, fair straightforward bit of burglary and well within my ability, or rather Imran's ability. I accept this challenge and hope it increases my standing within the guild. As it should be, now that you have agreed, the facilities of the guild are at your disposal. Feel free to make use of them and make your presence known to the other members. You have my permission, so they will be less likely to kill you on sight. Well, they are welcome to try. As for your mission, you have a 10 day to complete it. Wait, there's a time limit? Oh, dang it. The uh, informants have told me that the Duchess intends to take possession of the components the 10th day and the exchange will be hosted by Oberon on his estate. As I see it, you have several options. Directly pers persuade any of the involving parties to hand over the items or burgle them out from under their noses. Good luck. Oh, dang it. 10 days? Um, I like to take my time, but let's hope the 10 days will be sufficient. Okay, what else do we have here? Are those stairs? They look like stairs, but apparently they're not. Okay. What do we have here? A barrel. What's in a barrel? A book. A book? It's a manual. Ooh. Manual of Quickness of Action A typical manual of quickness of action provides the reader with a wide variety of tips and pointers regarding the motion and coordination of one's hands and feet. This small tome is much in demand by people from many walks of life, including rogues wishing to improve their sleight of hands and paladins wanting to protect to perfect their thrust and parry. The secret of such a manual lies in its magical nature as it permits an individual to raise his or her dexterity by a single point. Unfortunately, the manual will disappear after a single use. Okay. Sounds like fun. So, well, now we have an armor class of, I uh, know, a dexterity of 19. And uh, if we take off our robe, we have an armor class of 5. No, of 6. Okay. And now we read the book. Ding! Dexterity has been raised by one permanently. I didn't change anything. Still have an armor class of six. Okay, I thought maybe it would do something, but no. But still, a dexterity of 20? Uh, that's probably better now. I guess my. Um... No, I still had a two hit bonus. I already had a two hit bonus of plus one. Yeah, but then, again, you can never have too much dexterity, can you? So, take on that stuff again. 
Yeah, but now I have I increased charisma and wisdom and dexterity. Uh, but still need intelligence. I need a book that raises my intelligence to 19. Because right now, I have the intelligence of 18, I can only cast level 8 spells. And as you can see, well not in this game, but in Baldur's Gate 2, there are level 9 spells. And to be able to cast them, you need an intelligence of 19. So I hope that we will do? find, uh, you know, something to help us with that. And um, this looks like a, some stairs, but it's not, so we will leave. As you can see, uh, there are several exits here and here and here and over there on the other side probably too there's another one your wish hurry let's up. get going very well oh wait a second stop it mid what about you here the darkest day you never seen before I don't have what you need okay black Lily. okay it would be the darkest day you never have never seen before I don't have what you need for the right price anyway what are you needing today remember cash or hit the bricks I extend no credit especially to new recruits yeah that's fine with me I guess I don't need that do you have anything to sell? Nesta Stagger, if, if it has a name, it's probably important. No, I don't have anything. No. 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 What can I buy here? Potion of magic blocking. Um, this powerful elixir imbues the drinker with immunity to all spells up to and including the fifth level. At the same time, all spells effects at fifth level and low are removed. That, that's not so nice. Uh, but then, magic protection, 50% uh, magic resistance. That's awesome. I think we already have some of those. Magic protection. Oh, you only had one? That's not really much. Ah, okay. What would you have me do? Uh, on second thought. Oh, you don't have any healing spells Nature's anymore. Servant awaits. I need to rest. Well. Doesn't matter. So we have ten days to um, get some pieces My of friend. an airship. I know the password, it's still the same. Thanks. Anything hidden here? Very well. I guess we will be able to uh, explore yep. Baldur's I'm Gate done. in 10 days and get everything we need. We still need those um, sea charts, sea maps um, to go Hurry to, um, you know, that isle. All right, all right. The, you know, the quest from the expansion pack. Who are you? Who's that guy? All right, all right. Arms for the boy. Pardon the lodger, but I have not eaten in nigh onto three days. Bear con? <laughs> Get a job. No. Yeah. Take some gold. What is that? History of the Dragon Coast. Don't need it. Okay. Um. Let's return to that spot here. Yeah, all those doors entrances to the thieves guild. What is that here? That's really colorful. Oh yeah, that's the thingy where the mages live. Okay, sorcerers, sundries. Oh, this is where we... wait a second. Isn't that where we have to meet that guy? Um... No, uh, splurge and sturgeon in. Okay, sorry, my mistake. Are you there? Okay. I don't like those walls here. I would like to go on the other side, but no. 
Um, yeah, that's probably another entry. Way of entry to the Thieves Guild. Hi, yes. friend. Yeah, the password. It's always the same. Thanks. Go away. Don't look back. If you insist. If you insist. That's a huge building here. Oh, what might be in that barrel? Just a gold ring? Yep. I don't need your gold ring. Come on now in here. Uh, that's the exit. Where could we go from here? Okay, to that area and to that area. All right, all right. Who are you? Come on, now, come on, now. come on, now, come on, now. come on. Do you have anything special Can I to say? You? I recognize you. You are those adventurers who've been cleaning up all the bandits, ain't ya? The leader of your bunch is named Hey Witcher Blomi. Why are you up here at the gate? Uh, are you restocking or are you come to cause... Uh, come cause there's evil to fight in town? Evil? Here in Baldur's Gate? Why would you think that? Have you heard rumors or any some such? I've heard some weird stuff about the merchants consortium, uh, merchant consortiums in town. Both the Seven Sons and the Merchants League have been acting real strange as of late. Then there's that new Iron Throne that just moved in. They took over the huge abandoned tower on the west side of town. Well, that's all I really know. It was night meeting some real adventurers. Bye now. Yeah, yeah, bye. The door to this house is rotting off its hinges. You assume the house has been abandoned for years, but it doesn't look abandoned. It looks quite large, actually. Who are you? Come on up. I care not. Can you open this one? I've done had enough of this. As I thought. What would you have me do? And it. Stop it, will you? A girl! Oh, this means. Oh, dang it. Ah. Uh. Very well. I want my mommy. Oh, you just want your mommy. Just because you're tough doesn't mean you're the boss of me. Get out. No. Uh, the you problem wish? is that she will probably call the flaming fist. No, she won't. If you insist. Because I want to take a look at things huh, here. You're a I've done had enough of this. Money. More money. And more money. Hurry up! If you insist. Upstairs. What would you have me? All right, all right. Yeah, but it doesn't work all the time. Sometimes I chop people and they still call the police. I wonder how that works. But there's nobody in here, so what nobody should call I've the police. I've done had enough of this. I just take the money. It's all about the money, money, Wish. money. All right, all right. Um, do I still Hurry have up. the ability to heal somebody? No, I just just put that slow poison. Yep. What would you have me do? If you Get going. Very well. What's that? Lucky Aello's discount store. Okay, I don't really need a discount. I need good goods. What do we have here? Come on, uh, come on. Uh. Anything special to say? To say? Alas, the rats got pure Gorak. I doubt he'll uh, he'll be with us much longer. Who's Gorak? I don't recognize the name. He was a fixture in the city, sharp of wit and fair face. Indeed, I loved him once. We all did. 
Gorak and his brother Carib. We were like giggling girls scattering ourselves at their feet and they treated each of us with such respect and dignity. Lady Luck loved them too it seemed. But she is fickle, uh, a fickle and cruel mistress. Carib is long dead you see and Gorak bears the plague. I like a spurned lover. Timora turns her loves away. Uh, Timora turns her loves away that she might draw them closer to the end. Okay, um, let's see whether we can buy anything nice in here. If you insist. Oh, would you mind if I took a look at your uh, shelf? Apparently not. Wish? Do you have Very anything well. nice? Oh wait, what's that? We still have the Red Ravens. I am not interested in ornithology. Anything? No. Hi, Aim. My prices are the best south of Waterdeep. Hi folks, welcome to Lucky Aiello's, where the prices are so low there's gotta be something wrong. <laughs> nobody sells lower than me because nobody buys cheaper. If you can find a low price lower than mine this side of Kalimshan, the item will probably kill you. What can I get for you? Oh, well, let's have a look then. Uh, you don't have anything that I need. Cursed uh, scroll of what the fuck? Uh, eh. I guess all that shit is no. I, I know this antidote looks strange. It's probably cursed too. The out of speed uh, appears to be working, but then again, I have a haste spell. You don't have anything that I need, my friend. That's rather sad. Hurry up! Okay, what might we find here? What would you have me do? If you insist. Oh, the Elf Song Tavern, okay, I get it. So I guess we explore all of it. There's probably yes. Yes. Oh, oh, can can no way for us um, to map out the last remaining black spots. And this is where we came from, I guess. Hurry up! There's no way to go to the other side of that wall. Are you coming? What would you have your wish? Yes. Hurry up! I really like those boots, uh, speeds of boots, uh, <laughs> boots of speed, <laughs> speeds of boot. Okay, so I guess we will uh, form up here to the north. And um, what would you have me do? Explore the next area of Baldur's Gate, I guess. Yes. No. Yes. Your wish. I wish everybody had those yes. boots. Okay. So that, my friends, was the 100th video. Awesome. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.